Here is everything you need to know about the Lisandro Martinez to Manchester United transfer saga. It's an open secret that the Red Devils are looking for a centre back this season. Uh, they have a short list that includes the likes of Durian Timber and Paul Torres, but it seems that John Murtho and Eric Ten Hag have decided on Lisandro Martinez and are in advanced talks with Ajax. A fee of around £43 million should be enough to prize the Argentine defender to Old Trafford. Now, Arsenal are, of course, interested in Lisandro Martinez as well. In fact, they had two verbal offers rebuffed by Ajax, one of 28 million and another one of 34 million pounds. But I'm here also to tell you that we should not worry about that because the channels of communication between Ajax and Manchester United are pretty straightforward. Literally, it's as if I took out my phone and called my girlfriend to see if she's up for some pizza and picky blinders tonight. That's how straightforward and how fluid communication is between two clubs. Their CEO is a Manchester United legend who is pretty well connected with uh, people who make decisions at um, Old Trafford. And the other reason, of course, is it's Arsenal. Come on, guys. Manchester United are a much bigger team. We have a much, much bigger financial uh, pull than Arsenal. Arsenal do. We have a much bigger global audience than uh, Arsenal. And uh, I think the only thing that they have going for themselves is the fact that they're in London. But come on, as if Manchester was Mordor. Come on, it's a first world developed city. So that's, of course, not an argument um, to the advantage of uh, Arsenal. If you had to put your money on which club is more likely to make it to top four this season and which club is more likely to be challenging for the title in two or three years, that would be Manchester United, not Arsenal. And that's even before we start talking about the Eric Ten Hag um, connection. So yes, Lisandro Martinez, if Manchester United decide that he is our top priority for the centre-back position, then he's definitely joining Manchester United. I rate this as a 9.5 out of 10 that he's going to join. Um, discussions between the two clubs are a fact, according to many reliable sources. So yes, I could see this happening in the next few days. And what a centre-back he would be. He's exactly what we need. I love this kind of centre-back. Chest up, eyes up, scanning the horizon, looking for options all the time. Great positioning sense, anticipation and reading of the game. Great ball players. Uh, can also play as a defensive midfielder. That's where he started before moving on to centre-back. So definitely the kind of defender that we need. Plus, I, uh, I personally believe that you are only as good as your partner is, especially when it comes to centre-backs. So I expect a player like Lisandro Martinez, because he's so composed and so assured um, uh, with the ball, that players like Lindelof, Varane, Maguire will actually improve playing alongside Lisandro Martinez. Plus, uh, he himself said that uh, Gabriel Heinze is his uh, idol. Uh, both of them are Newell All Boys uh, graduates. Uh, both of them are left-footed and both of them are playing or are going to play for Manchester United. Now, before I let you go, I just want to open a quick bracket and just say, John Murtho, what a wonderful job. Do you realize uh, for 110 million, we would get Tyrone Malaysia, Frankie de Jong, Christian Eriksen and Lisandro Martinez. That is beautiful business right there and it's a clear indication that we are moving away from the Ed Woodward way of doing things and that Richard Arnold is actually delegating football matters to football experts i.e. John Murtho and Eric Ten Hag. Ladies and gentlemen we are in good hand get optimistic be positive the club is on the right track I'm excited about the beginning of the season cheers.